hey loves and welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to learn how to make a long loop like a loop that crosses the half length the normal loop that we use for our corsets normally stops at the half length but if you notice this one crossed the half length it stopped at the hip line you are you're going to see this in wedding gowns and some of the trendy corset gowns we sew these days so before that i want to tell you guys that we'll be having our corset class starting from next week so i have created a whatsapp group and a telegram group but we'll be hosting the class on telegram so i will drop the two links for you so that i will direct you on how to make the payment so before we do that i'll show you guys how to cut a gown without a half length before you'll be able to achieve that type of loop you will first of all make a gown that doesn't have a half length if you if you're active on instagram you will notice that most of the brighter clothes they make these days do not have a half length so i'll show you guys how to do that so i folded my fabric and i will mark my shoulder my shoulder divided by two is 7.5 plus half an inch that is eight inches then from there i will mark my chest line that is eight inches my bust point that is 10 inches sorry i made a mistake i marked 11 so i'll mark 10 the under bust is 13 the half length is 16 the hip length is 26 if you want you can make it 27 28 to 30 depending on the height of the person so the full length will be 40 then i'll go ahead and roll these lines i have connected my armhole as well so this is for people that want to sew a gown with shoulder though the one that i will make is an off shoulder but i will draft it with a shoulder so that you'll be able to make it if you want to have a shoulder as well so i have marked my round neck three by three and then i connected to my armhole so i'll be using a princess that for this gown i'll label the chest line the bust point the under bust, the half length the hip line and the full length of the gown so after that i will measure my bust palm my nipple to nipple is eight divided by two that is four but i added half an inch that is four and half so add your half an inch on this pattern paper then at the under bust mark four at the half length mark four then stop at the half length for now this will be a padded camera it will have um, um a padded breast curve so at the shoulder you find the midpoint of the chest line that is four the midpoint of eight is four then you connect from your bust point to your armhole to so the point where you measured four at your armhole so from the shoulder we'll find the dart line we know that if you are sewing a straight gown the dart normally stops at one 21 inches or 22 inches we know that so i will mark this dart line so that i can use it to explain something to you guys so i will label this the dart line and then i'll extend the dart line to meet this point so let's stop here for now let's stop at the dart line for now then at the under boss i will subtract one and uh, one inch one inch on each side of the under boss then i will do the same thing on the half length and on the dart line So I'll go ahead and connect the lines. So I'll go ahead and connect my bust curve that is from the under bust to the bust point. On a normal day, if I'm cutting my princess, that if you have noticed, my curve will be on the 
only on the side but this time around i have a curve at the center and the breast curve at the side the reason why i did this is that i want the two sides to mirror each other so that when i am joining none will be longer than the other i don't know if you get because this is a gown so from the point where you measured four inches at the armhole you can see i measured four inches before i will come down by 1.5 then from that area i will connect to my boss point so this is how it looks so this time around i've added my chest that so i will measure the center from the boss point to the armhole that is seven inches then i will measure the side from the boss point to the armhole it stopped at six inches so i will complete it seven inches like i said i want the two sides to be equal so that when i'm joining none will be longer than the other so i will connect down to my armhole so we are done with the breast curve area so on a normal day, we know that our darts will stop at the dart line. If you are making a gown, the darts will stop, stop at the dart line. But this time around, this dart line will not stop there to extend to the hip line. So you can see from the half length, I connected a triangular line down to the hip line. From the hip line to the half length and i repeated the same thing at the other side so you can see that this dart did not stop at the dart line i extended it down to the hip line you can see how it looks there it will not go down straight it will be a triangular line to stop at four inches at the hip line so i'll go ahead and cut out this shaded part if you want you can cut down but i want my dart to stop here i'll only open the dart to the hip line then stop let me cut this out before taking my measurement so that we will not be confused so i'll open i'll cut out those dart areas and stop at the hip line So you can see the dart area is out and this is how it will look on your fabric i know it might be wondering but i'll show you guys this actually works so i'll measure my bust my bust is 40 divided by 4 that is 10 plus 2 inches same allowance that is 12 so i'll go ahead and mark my 12 so i'll take my waist measurement at the half length so my waist is 28 divided by 4 that is 7 then i'll add back the two inches that i took out at the dart area remember that i took one one inch on each side that is two inches so i'll add it back that is nine plus another two inches plus for seam allowance that is 11 so i marked 11 so my hip is 44 divided by four that is 11 plus two inches seam allowance that is 13 so i marked 13 so at the at the full length I will just my hip divided by four is 11 i'll mark exactly the 11 without any allowance that's how i normally mark my knee line or the full length of a short gown divide your hip by four whatever you got mark it there without any allowance it will help you to get that that pencil shape so i'm connecting the lines so you can see how it looks the shape of our gown is out so i'll go ahead and cut out the remaining parts so this is for the front part and if i open it up this is how it will look you can see the dark areas is out so if i open it this is how it will look like i said if you want you can extend you can cut through the dart you can cut it down to the full length but i don't want to so if you are joining just flip one side like this just flip one side like this then you will join to the armhole and trust me 
the padded part will be very fine so i'll keep this aside and then introduce another pattern paper for the back like i said i cannot show you guys how to cut that loop without showing you how to make a gown without a half length so this is the new pattern paper for for the back i'll place the front on it and then trace out my zipper allowance i know there is no zipper allowance but first of all i will trace out the zipper allowance so that i can carry you guys along so using my marker i'll go ahead and trace out my zipper allowance the zipper allowance will just be one inch one inch is enough so i've traced out the hip line i'll connect the zipper allowance the hip line is very important so that you will know where the loop will stop or where the the hip lines meet if you want the loop to cross this mid this hip line you can do it as well so i'll label the zipper allowance then i'll go ahead and mark the shoulder i'll repeat everything that i did at the front the only difference is that the back panel will not have bust points and under bust measurements the only thing you need is your chest line your half length and the hip line there's no bust points and under bust measurements at the back so i'll extend these lines then i'll connect my chest line my armhole line and then i'll draft my armhole So for the back, the dart is going to be at the half length. So you measure, you come in by four inches or four and a half at the back. Four inches is okay. Then you extend the line to meet the chest line and the hip line. Then on each side of this dart, you subtract half an inch and then connect to the hip line, the way I'm doing now. Then the dart line for will stop at one inch before the chest line it will not reach the chest line it will stop at one inch before the chest line so i'll take my bust measurements 40 divided by 4 10 plus two inches seam allowance then at the hip waistline i'll measure my waist divided by four plus one inch for that and um, two inches for seam allowance then at the hip i'll divide my hip by four plus two inches seam allowance then at the knee my hip divided by four and i'll mark exactly what i got so i'll go ahead and connect the lines so this is it for the back part it is very simple if you want you can make the back part to have a princess that if you want so i'll mark my neckline that is three by three i'll connect my shoulder slants then i'll go ahead and cut out so i am done cutting out so the next thing that i will do is to at the chest line like i told you guys i'm making an off shoulder gown an off shoulder gown remember so this is time to trace off the off shoulder parts so i'll label this line so that i will not get confused so after doing that i will introduce the front pattern paper before cutting my off shoulder so i'll bring back my front paper pattern I'll place it so that the zipper allowance will be showing so you can see how it looks so I will go ahead and measure where I want my off shoulder to start from and where the neckline will stop at so my neckline will stop at one inch below the chest line then I will go ahead and make a V shape or a sweetheart shape to meet that area. Then I will go ahead and cut. This is just for the front part. 
so this is how the front part will look i will still trim it down so i'll also mark one and a half inch below the chest line at the back then from there i will curve i'll make a shallow round neck and this neck will stop at the chest line for the back i don't know if you get the back will stop the back will stop at the chest line exactly then at the center back you will come down by 1.5 inch before making that curve that i just made now so i'll go ahead and trim the front one the way i want because i want it to have a smooth sweet heart so i'll go ahead and smoothen it the way i want to also stop at the chest line so if you notice the front and the back will meet at the chest line that is if you are joining the side two of them will meet at the chest line so if you open it up this is how it look like it is an off shoulder now you have your princess that's off shoulder right now so if you join everything will be equal so i'll go ahead and keep this aside then for the back this is the time where we will make the loop now so i will cut out first of all i will cut out this zipper allowance to make things clear i will stop at the hip length at the hip line because from the hip line downwards, you close that part, you will join that part. So the zipper allowance, I cut it off down to the hip line. Then at the chest line, at the neckline, you will come in by two inches. That is if you want the back part to show. You know at the back, it normally has a triangular shape down. So mark two inches at the neckline, at the half length coming by 1.5 then connect the line from the half length to the chest line then from the half length you will make a v line down to the hip area this time it should join it should join the zipper allowance line at the hip line so just make a triangular line at the back remember we have cut that our zipper allowance before then from the main measurements you subtract two inches at the neckline, one and a half at the underboss, and connect down to the hip line. So you can see the the distance. If I open it up, the distance between the two will be four inches. So let me open it up so that you guys can see. You can see at the neckline, the distance between them is four inches. So I'll go ahead and close this zipper allowance. And as you can see, it is open at the back right now. Two inches at the neckline, one and a half at the half length, and connect down to the hip. So this is all you have. If you want it to be wider than this, you can subtract two and a half at the chest line, two inches at the half length, and then connect straight down to the zipper allowance at the hip so that is it guys for the back the next thing that we do is to cut this out cut them out on my on my main fabric so um this is the fabric that i will be using so i'll place i'll place it on this fabric and cut out I'll open the zipper allowance if you want to add the slits fine you can add your slits I'll cut out the neckline and then the side so 
so here is it if you want you can open your darts if you want leave it like that so this is how it will look on the fabric so i'll also go ahead and cut the front part i have folded my fabric and i'll introduce the front part so if you are cutting just remove the dart the way i removed it on the pattern paper and then stop at that point if you want you can cut down to the full length like i said before but i don't want to extend the dart down to the full length So I'll go ahead and cut. So if you open it up, this is how it will look. So if you're adding a breast pad, go ahead and add the breast pad down to the under bust and stuff. So I don't have a white lining. I decided to use a black one since I'm doing an illustration. So this is the lining for the back and I'll keep them aside. Then this is the loop that we use. I folded my bias into two. So I'll cut it into three three inches each of them will be three inches long so i'll go ahead and cut all of them three three inches So I am done cutting those loops into 33 inches. So I'll go ahead and place them down from the chest line down to the hip line. You can see where the zipper allowance started. So I'll go ahead and sew them like that. I'll keep on placing them till they stop. They will stop at the hip line. I remember if you have 20 loops on the right side, you will have also have 20 loops on the left side. Just make sure that two of them are equal. So I am done fixing the loops. This is how they look. I did not add my dart. This is just an illustration. So after fixing them, I will go ahead and turn with my lining. If you are doing an invisible, if you are doing an inner finishing, you know you have to join the fabric differently, the lining differently, and then shape. But this time around, I would turn each of them separately. So this is the front. I did not add a part, but I closed the dart to show you guys that it actually works. So if you want to extend the dart, fine. You can extend it. But you can see that it actually worked. So I have joined this. If had it been I added my part, it will stand more than this. So I'll go ahead and trim. So this is the back part. I have turned it with the lining and this is what it looks like. So I'll go ahead and iron and after iron, after ironing, I will cover the zipper allowance side. If you want to add the slit, you are free to add a slit. So as you can see, this is what they look like. So I'll go ahead and close my zipper allowance. And after closing it, I'll show you guys. So I have closed the zipper allowance and you can see how it looks. So if you place the front on it, 
this is what it will look like i did not add a line on the part the front i just wanted to illustrate so that you guys will actually see that this type of that works i know a lot of people know it already but some do not so if you're making a bridal dress especially the ones that have a train from the knee downwards this is actually simple and easier so thank you guys for watching thanks for subscribing to my channel and please do not forget to join our telegram group because this corset class is going to be well detailed i'll teach you guys how to make um, three different types of corsets and bracket so thank you guys and see you in my next video please do not forget to like this video so that more people can see it thank you thank you bye